You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lynn, your host, and I have a new face for Greater Brockton. Laverne, welcome. welcome. Nice to see you. Thank you. Um, you have a wonderful foundation. I love the name of it. Thank you. Love Life Now. Yes. Foundation. Yes. Um, Tell us a little bit about the foundation and then you have a couple of great events coming up in the next few months. Absolutely, so Love Life Now Foundation is just that. We encourage folks to take a hold of what's in front of them right now, especially those that have faced domestic violence. We are a year-round awareness arm, uh, started out in the city of Brockton, and now uh, over in Avon, just across town. Mm -hmm. And uh, we promote year-round awareness. We don't want the issue of domestic violence to be uh, just something that comes up when it's in the news, whether it's uh, affecting a celebrity or a sports, a sports figure. We want it to be year round. We want to keep the signs that uh, typically lead up to domestic violence issues in the forefront. We want folks to be aware of the resources and we want to connect folks with the resources that are there uh, within reach at any given time. Uh, so in that respect, we have uh, three great events that we put on yearly. Mm -hmm. The next one coming up is the one of the, a really great initiative that we took on most recently, um, and that's to feed the homeless. We want to we want to take it a step further and create care packages um, for the homeless. Uh, too often, folks are walking around and they need you know just basic toiletries that can get them through the week or the next day or the next month, um, and we want to be able to. Facilitate facilitate that for them, for folks, uh, for the homeless within the city. Okay. So that's coming up on April 9th. Uh, we, uh, again, feed folks uh, via brown bag lunches. We assemble them at our, at my home, mm -hmm. um, and it's gotten, it's gotten pretty decently big, <laughs> um, where other parents are coming and helping out, and their kids are coming and helping out, and we're, we're getting things like, you know, sandwiches, and bananas, and apples, and cookies, and a bottle of water for these people that need it, that really, really do need it, and so adding the care package to it, which I know other uh, organizations already do, but we want to bring it here within the city and be able to, to help those in need, and so that's coming up on April 9th. Okay, it says... I'm uh, sorry, April 2nd, I'm April sorry. April 2nd, I'm, 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 I'm I'm pushing check it. that. That's okay. I'm pushing April it. April yeah. 2nd is good. It's April 2nd <laughs> Correct. at 9. Correct. April 2nd that's what at 9 a.m. Yes. No, no biggie. And it's, it's, it's right near Main Spring House. Correct. 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 Which is right next to Brockton Community Access. Correct. So we're right in the neighborhood. Um, uh, you know, a lot of homeless people tend to gather right in that area. We hope to spread it to different areas throughout the city. Um, but for right now, we want to help those right here in our community. Now you're a nonprofit, so yes. you have volunteers. Yes. So we do. do you need help with the actual we event? We absolutely do. We ask folks if they're willing to assemble uh, the brown bag lunches at their home and then meet up with us at uh, Mainspring. That would be absolutely more than helpful. Um, those that want to, you know, help put together the care packages, um, we can drop off the items. They can help us put it together and then bring it back to us, and that way we can be able to pass them out, if even if they're not there to help physically that day. Okay, phone number, website, phone number, website. Email, if all that. you would like to donate um, care package items, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's items like trial size bottles. So we're not talking about the big bottles. We're talking mm -hmm. about the little trial size bottles that you get at the hotels. So shampoo, conditioner, chapstick. Um, deodorant, uh, bath soap bars, mm -hmm. um, those are mouthwash, toothbrush, toothpaste. Sure. Those are the types of things that we need donated. If you're talking about food items, we're talking about white bread, we're talking about um, turkey, uh, sliced turkey, we're talking about bananas, bottled of, bottles of water, mm -hmm. all of these items. And if you want to get that, those things to us or help us in any way, it's info at lovelifenow.org or call 617, call or text 617-803. 8357 and our website is www.lovelifenow.org. Okay, and we'll flash that up on the screen so awesome. everybody gets to see it. Yes. So that's that's number one. Um, number two is um, if you're still watching this in June, we, we run these these Greater Brockton segments and we mix them up. Yes. We, we usually do them until they expire. 
There's another one that's right around the time of the graduation. Correct. In June, yes. June 5th, if June I'm not mistaken. 5th, the first Sunday in June. Tell us about that one. June 5th. So this is a, a, a an event that we've put on many times over the last few years, um, and it's called the Healathon Against Domestic Violence, and it's a 3K where we ask folks to put on their favorite pair of heels and walk a short distance in support of awareness on the issue. Now, I want to point out, heels are not mandatory. Okay. <laughs> Don't get scared by that. People show up in their flats, their sneakers, their wedges, whatever is comfy for you. But it's, you know, it's more fun to bring awareness in that pair of heels walking that short distance. Basically walk a mile in my shoes for folks that have experienced this type of issue. Is that over at Raymond School? It's actually, mistake? well, it used, it to, used be. to be. Okay. Right. As of last year, we, st we, were, we were leaving from Westgate Mall, okay. which is um, directly across from IHOP. Mm -hmm. um, the big parking lot there where Hamid's Academy is. That okay. big parking oh, lot? Yeah, sure. Correct, right. So we'll be leaving from there. That'll be the base for the walk. And we'll be heading out to DW Field Park and back. So a little bit more of a scenic route. Mm -hmm. um, and we usually get nice weather. And it's such a great day to bring awareness to the cause. We have tons of things in store post-walk. So folks get back to Hamid's Academy. And we have Zumba demonstrations. We mm -hmm. have um, the fire truck demo where kids can get up and kind of play on the trucks and get a real feel for what that's about. We have ice cream um, uh, handed out to the kids. We have such great uh, such a great time. And at the halfway mark at DW Field Park, we have a purple carpet, not a red carpet, purple, which is okay. the awareness color for domestic violence. And people strut their stuff in front of a backdrop, take photos. It's just a really great day. Mutual Bank, who is a great sponsor of this event, mm -hmm. um, they're usually there at the halfway mark, parsing out water or snacks, um, whatever the case, and just having a really great time for the cause. And it usually benefits, all of our events usually benefit a shelter. Uh, this year, it's going to be New Hope uh, out on the South Shore. So yeah. we're really excited. Excited. Great stuff. Now let me ask you a little bit more about the organization. We have about sure. less than two minutes. Mm -hmm. How many are you the employee and then everybody else is a volunteer, volunteer board and stuff, or is there more of an infrastructure? You said you moved to Avon. Correct. Just quickly. Yeah, sure. So it's um, at this point we are all volunteers of this organization. Oh, okay. um, and so we have a board. We do have a board of about four or five people mm -hmm. and uh, they meet and we converge uh, probably once every two months, uh, more so um, if uh, uh, we have an event coming up. Sure. Um, and so they are all tireless volunteers for this cause and we're just so excited because they all come from different backgrounds but they all share the same uh, common uh, ground where we want to help eradicate this issue. I myself, I am uh, a victim of the issue. Uh, I'm a child witness to it as well. Growing up in Trinidad, it was something that my father exposed us to. Uh, he beat my mother at the, uh, in front of us uh, repeatedly uh, growing up and then unfortunately children that are exposed to domestic violence, they either become abusive or or the abused and unfortunately I became uh, involved in an abusive relationship between 99 to 2001. I thank God that I left with my life but there are many many women and men that go through this on a daily basis and they have nobody to reach out to and we want to help kind of bridge the gap between that. We want to help people make, make them aware that there is help. Well we just scratched the surface in nine minutes. Yes. So <laughs> two events, uh, first one on April 2nd at 9, Brown Bag and Care Against Domestic Violence Program Main and Spring Street, we will give you the website and phone number information again. Second one, June 5th, the Healathon starts over at Hamid's Academy at Westgate Mall, goes to DW Field Park. Two great events to benefit a great cause. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Thank glad, you so much. Glad you're here. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.